Tony Khan does not plan on disappointing fans tonight. The AW president spoke to TV Insider ahead of AW Big Business at Boston's TD Garden with rumors that Mercedes Monet could debut on the show. Khan was asked if fans can expect any new talent to show up tonight. He responded, of course. I promise I will not disappoint the fans tonight. There has been an influx of huge names, and tonight is the biggest show yet. Tonight? Tonight. When we launched AEW, I listen, I, I don't want to get people mad at me, but I I don't know. When we launched AEW, it was the first time in many years. So many resources and such a strong roster of wrestlers have come together to form a new challenger promotion. After five years, AEW is now stronger than ever before. Our roster continues to get deeper and better. This has become a popular destination that top stars seek out. Perfect time to continue expanding and growing. So what tonight is all about, AEW Big Business. With such a strong group of wrestlers in AEW today, we've come so far from the beginning in 2019. Now we have what I believe is the best roster in pro wrestling today. Well, that's certainly arguable, let me tell you. Still so many great stars out there. We're always looking to add and strengthen the group. I think we will continue to try and strengthen whenever we can add someone's skills to make AEW better. I think the constant innovation, perpetual strides... Always wanting to get better, a big part of the spirit of AEW. Tony Khan was asked about Kevin Kelly as well. Kevin Kelly was removed from the AEW roster page. Did not work collision. PW Torch reported he has been fired. And Tony Khan said, I prefer not to comment on that, but I appreciate you asking. That's certainly a comment I wish he'd used a lot in the past, but he did not. Was there any follow-up? No, there was not. He said, I cannot comment on that. So, I appreciate you asking. He addressed the criticism of Darby Allen's glass-shattering spot. He says it has to be something safe. Whenever a wrestler comes in and wants to try something what? especially dangerous, I just want to know that there's a safe way to do it. <laughs> Darby Allen, every time that he's ever had an idea for a wild high spot, uh, high spot or crazy move. And then he can stay at the luxury budget inn. He's had a rationale and plan. Darby doesn't take these things lightly. I'm sorry, but, you know, that there's really not. not a safe way to fall That's off a 15-foot no. ladder and added four <laughs> feet for the ring apron through glass to the floor. No. I mean, he didn't die. No. He only got 12 stitches. But I could not, in good conscience, ever state that that was safe, what he well, did. Well, you know, you're right about that, but we are in the stuntman era now, aren't we? And there are... I At least I can see for whatever you want to say about the precautions that they took, at least they probably took a lot more than some of their brothers and sisters on the indie scene uh, take doing things that are on par with that. So I, I guess I'll try to give them credit that way. <laughs> we have got the lineup for the show tonight. It is Samoa Joe versus Wardlow for the AW world title. We have Darby Allen versus Jay White. We have Okada, Matt, and Nick Jackson versus Eddie Kingston, Pac, and Penta. Hook and Chris Jericho versus the Gates of Agony. And Willow Nightingale versus Riho. That's the lineup for the show. Mercedes Monet is expected to debut. Now, the other two things I'm going to say here, I'm telling you with all sincerity, I have absolutely no earthly idea. Okay? But... I don't know why. I honestly do not know why. But I see Samoa Joe versus Wardlow. Mm -hmm. And like, why do I expect MGF is returning tonight? I know. Feels that way, doesn't it? Yes. And then also, why do I feel like Britt Baker is returning tonight? Because she's doing media all of a sudden. She is. She is. Well, that's probably why. She uh, did a bunch of media. Says so she can't wait to return. Uh, she hasn't wrestled since September. Took part in a panel discussion, SXSW, on Monday. She was South asked by Southwest if she feels the best is yet to come for her uh, career. She said, yes, I do. Growing as a wrestler, performer, and learning what works and what doesn't work. With all the new talents coming in, new talent we have to work with, new coaches, new people coming over from WWE, new brains and minds you get to pick, you're really doing yourself a huge disservice if you're not constantly asking everybody around you for help. 
think the help in AEW is growing and growing for me personally. Can't wait to get back in the ring, have one of these microphones in my hand, cut some promos. I don't know, she says, just stay tuned. Hmm. And I don't know either, but I am staying tuned. But uh, she's, throw... I believe she's good to go. So we'll find out. Let me throw something by you here, even though I have lobbied for Tony Storm and Mercedes to Monet to jump in right off the bat to try to make something out of this Tony Storm thing. And it may have it make sense, but considering that, you know, Brett has been on social media in the past couple of months wondering why she was not on the shows and such and obviously she was recovering from a back injury and all that sort of stuff maybe if you're going in a different direction with tony storm mercedes monet and Britt baker upset that she was been there since day one you know she is one of the people she should be a pillar in her own right in aew but she keeps getting passed over you think you can work this into a storyline that way and make it work because on paper and, and granted look i'm not a big as big of a fan in, as Britt in the ring as you are and i think she's behind some other people that are there but with that said I think Mercedes Monet and Britt Baker on paper is a really great matchup. Well, of course it is. AEW can easily promote. Well, I guess we'll find out tonight because it is big business. And uh, you will not be let down, or Tony will give you your money back. I'm not expecting to be let down by the show tonight. I'll tell you that much. I don't know if anybody was, but I think uh, I, I am wondering why. There's no hole for Mercedes to punch through here like a Tony Storm segment. Why didn't they announce her for crying out loud? Well, even give us something that may lead to her being there. Like, what's she going to interfere in the Darby Allen J. White match? Like, there's no even, like, goofy, even though I know AEW fans hate some WWE things, sometimes it's very easy to just set up something so you know somebody's got to come crash this party. And they actually have not done that. Hey, you know what I do? Willow and Riho are going to be the I'll tell you what I do. What's that? I'll tell you what I do tonight. And it doesn't have to be Brit. It can be anybody. But it should be. It should be Brit because she's a big star. She's been gone a long time. But, you know, top of the hour or whatever, end of the show, whenever you're going to do it, you do whatever you're going to do, and then the lights go out. And, of course, everybody freaks out because they think, my God, Mercedes is here. But then the music hits, and it's the return of Britt Baker. and Or whoever, whoever you use. Stokely Hathaway. And uh, as long as it's a return, I think it's going to get a big pop. If it's just like, you know, someone they see every week, that person will be booed out of the building if they're a baby face. But, you know, you get that person down to the ring, and then the lights go out again, and then here comes Mercedes, and they have the big stare down. Yeah, it's for said Jamie Hayter, whoever. And, uh... And listen, also here, uh, this person says, I also think the show starts and Mercedes' music immediately hits. Let me tell you something. Bro, we just saw the last two weeks of SmackDown numbers, okay? It's abundantly clear. If you've got something big, in the case of WWE The Rock, if you save that until the end of the show, you will do a significantly better viewership than if you open the show with it, get the big first part of the show, and then everybody turns the show off. Like ever didn't like everybody didn't turn the show off, but the Raw sh- the SmackDown show this week was much higher than it was the week prior because they saved the Rock till the end of the show, as opposed to the week earlier where they did the first forty minutes of the show and then they lost a bunch of the people that tuned in to see the Rock. So no, I absolutely, positively, unequivocally would not put her in the opening segment of this show. Save her for the end. No, Make and, people wait and watch the show and then give it to them. And have some sort of tease between going between the 8.45 to 9 o'clock segments. Make sure you do something there because people are going to be tuning in. Has she debuted yet? Go ahead. Try to do something there that creates some interest and has them at least coming back throughout until the end of the show. Listen, I know Punk debuted at the beginning of the show. Okay, That was, that was years ago. We have evidence from two weeks ago that debuting at the end of the show, saving the big star for the end of the show, is going to do better than the beginning. Back in a moment, Observer Live. Well, we'll see where the walk-up is tonight, but uh, the show as of this morning, 77-79. Last time they were in the building was for Blood and Guts, where they did uh, 89-56. So uh, about 1,000 tickets below that. 
But Not bad. Uh, we'll see how they do tonight. I think they should have advertised her. I, I don't I see think any reason he, why they did not. I just think as it got closer, because, again, I was a little skeptical at the beginning when they booked the building of that size, even scaling it, that, okay, what is Sasha just alone going to be worth? What is going back into the market going to be worth? Because we know when they've returned to markets here recently, there's been a, a big, pretty good decline. So what was she going to be worth on top of that? And, and we, we kind of now know what it is, but maybe they could have done more as the weeks were leading up where okay we kind of know what the where we're at right now and in the last three weeks add some little hints add something to try to whip people into a little bit of a frenzy here and yes i know for AEW fans they all know she's going to be there but with that said it creates some social media nonsense because, look, everybody loves that. And some clues on IG, some things on Twitter, things like that for people who have kind of lapsed from AEW. And all they are paying attention to right now is WWE because WWE is just saturating everything. As people says, are people that dense to not know she's coming tonight? That's <laughs> Well, I mean, the point is we will never know because we don't know the difference. If there was an alternate universe where they advertise her in advance and then this universe, we would know. But that universe does not exist. So, yes, I'm sure there are plenty of people. I mean, dude, there's all sorts of stuff that I don't find out until last second. And this is my job. But, you know, this is not like CM Punk. I said this yesterday. If you watch what they do with CM Punk, like it wasn't it wasn't a secret at all i mean they used his catchphrases i mean this is what have they done what it have they done cm punk in chicago there's they, the intangible they put, of they that. put dollar signs <laughs> on the word boston what else did they do exactly the one one that, person guess... on on collision in a promo backstage on a on a show that maybe half of the dynamite audience watches said boss that's where we're at. Yeah. Okay. This this is not like they were dropping hints left and right, and it's an open secret. Like you know, if you know, if you don't know, you don't know. And I know that sounds stupid, but it's it, that's what it is. Like if you're not just intensely involved in all of this, if you're just a person that watches wrestling on TV, you don't have any idea. If you're in the area and you just watch Dynamite and Collision and Rampage, and you're not living and dying on the internet, you don't know. That's it. And it's fine. That's what they decided to do. You know who's going to know tomorrow? Everybody. Because she's going to debut. So there you go. Hey guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show. All of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.